Hi everyone, in this video we're going to talk about comparing numbers and figuring out which one is bigger. So let's look at some examples. Let's say we had 7,502 and say we had uh, 427. So if you wanted to compare these numbers, what you would do is you would just line them up. So 7502, 427. And you could easily say that the number up top is bigger because it has more digits, right? It has more digits than this one. So this number up top is going to be bigger. So the way you write that in mathematics is you write down the 7502 and you want to say it's greater than 427. So the symbol we use for greater than looks like this. So greater than 427. You can also write this backwards. You can write this as 427 and then reverse the symbol. This symbol is called less than. And so 427 is less than 7502. So again, this symbol here, this is called greater than, greater than. And this symbol here is called less than. Sometimes people like to think of alligators. If you think of this <laughs> as an alligator's mouth, um, it eats the bigger number, you see? It's got teeth, <laughs> and it, it, it eats the bigger number. Whatever works. Um, I usually do it this way. Um, I don't think about alligators. Let's do uh, another example of comparing numbers. Say we have numbers, and they have the same number of digits. Say we have 4, 7, 2, 1, 4, 9, to one. In this case, we can compare these two numbers, and notice the ones are the same, so you just check each number. The twos are the same, so far so good. Oh, but look, this one, the hundreds place is bigger, right? The nine, sorry, yeah, in the hundreds place uh, is bigger than the seven here, so this is much bigger than this one because it has a bigger number in the hundreds place, and the fours match, so this is going to be a bigger number. So you would write 4,000 921 is greater than 4,721. Or you could say the top number is smaller, so you would write 4,721 is less than 4,921. Let's do another example of comparing numbers. Let's do one that might not be so obvious. For example, 7432 and 7612. So if you kind of follow the strategy we did uh, in this example up here, you compare the twos, you may say, oh wait, look, here in the tens place, the three is bigger than the one. But you have to keep comparing, okay? You have to compare all of them. So notice the sevens are the same, but look, here again, the bottom number dominates, right? It's got a bigger hundreds place. So this number on the bottom, because the hundreds place is bigger, is gonna be bigger than this number. So seven, six, one, two, is greater than 7432. 7432. And if you want to write it backwards, you would write 7432 is less than 7612. Let's do another one. I'll do it over here in a different color. Let's say we had, um, oh, let's say we had 670 and 670. Might say, hey, these are the same number. They are. So whenever they're the same number, what you do is you put this symbol between them. This symbol means equals. So you write 670 equals 670. So that's what this symbol means. The symbol means equals. Equals. Let's do another one. These are, these are kind of interesting. It's good to think about this stuff. Say we have 2, 3, 4, 7, 7, 4, 3, 2. So if you compare side by side, let's see, the, the ones place is bigger, the tens place is bigger, the hundreds place is smaller, uh-oh, but then look, the thousands place, that one dominates everything because that's the biggest place, and it's bigger than the biggest place here, so therefore the number on the bottom is bigger. So 7432 is bigger than 2347, or greater than is the correct word to say. And you can write it backwards. The number on the top is smaller. So you would say 2347 is less than 7432. So quick recap. 
The symbol here means less than. The symbol here means greater than. The symbol here means equal to. I hope this video has been helpful.